DayZ has dropped the nuke. With the update, everything is gone. Everything anyone has built is gone. Every survivor has lost everything. Welcome to a new season of DayZ Therapy. In this season, we pick up with one of our favorite survivors. Her name happens to be Daisy. You know, like the flower. She was loved in season one. Now, she wakes up disoriented in a field. How long can she survive? Enjoy. What is good, everybody? Saw some Daisy back in Daisy. She is traveling and looking to start her own steakhouse in the apocalypse. I had a crisis of inventory. Here's what I'm leaving behind. You can see on the left, I dropped about half the meat. I chose the Mosin over the shotgun for now. I kept the rounds for the shotgun for later because I'll find shotguns everywhere, but I had the same amount of rounds for the shotgun as I did for the Mosin. And, um, and the Mosin, I'm looking to hunt more. So hunt animals over people. So I take the Mosin for now and drop magazines and feathers and ammo that I don't have guns for and opened up some good inventory space. So thank you for helping me on that inventory management. Uh, yeah, we are on a populated server. There's obviously a base going up here. Let's see what we got. We got some guns. Nothing great. So we want to um, keep traveling north. Ooh, uh, yeah, that sea. We need space for that. Now I got another dilemma. Well, we can fit this in our inventory, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we can fit the axe, but we're gonna need that too. So what we need to do is we're gonna need that for building posts and stuff. So what we really need to do here with our girl Daisy is get to a spot where we wanna build this thing. So I ran through the night, made it to Zvir. I'm gonna log off here, come back in when it's in the daytime so you can see a little bit better everything that's going on. Remember that house, everybody? I think I'll log off in this one. All right, Daisy will be back at sunrise. And we're making progress. See you in a bit. All right, good morning from the girl Daisy. On our way to find a location to build a steakhouse. Ran up here, didn't show it because it was just dark and running and it's hard to see in the dark. We do need to cook this stuff up so we can eat it. Maybe we do that straight away. I'm excited we got some rope. We can kind of look around and see if there's an area here in Zvir we wanna. I mean, we could even just like wall this off. And this could be it. Boom. However, it's right by that well. There's going to be a lot of folks cruising through here. Probably wouldn't last too long. There's a water bottle. Do I need one? Uh, let's get some bark. Let's cook this food up right now. We start eating it. Firewood. Okay. Sticks. Oh, we still got inventory space. All right, let's go. I think this has the big oven, or is this the little one? This is the little fake out. Yeah, little fake out. All right, well, let's go to this green one over here. Yeah, so many things to think about. Where do we want to build? There's houses over there. A little bit more out of the way. I don't think I want to take on a full watchtower kit. Like a full watchtower. Dude, this is bringing back lucky vibes big time. Big time. If you're not following that series, you should be. Yeah, it's crazy. I'm trying to live a full year on a server. All right, let's put this. 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 I know I could scroll them over, but I'm kind of on a roll. Maybe let's try it. Let's try it. Yeah, it's probably a little quicker. Ah, it's about the same, huh? 
All right, cool. Do I have, oh, I got a lighter. Sweet, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, I also did drop the sledgehammer on the way over here because the pickaxe does a lot of the similar things that we need it to do and it will allow us to put up posts. So just to create space and um, lower the weight, it seemed like the right thing to do. I do sort of miss the shotgun, but I didn't want to carry both. Uh, a little easier to find ammo for the shotgun. But we had, what, three rounds? Ah, we did have seven rounds for the shotgun. Maybe I should have kept that instead of this. I don't know. We'll find another shotgun, though. Those are pretty much everywhere. All right, let's keep our eye on the prize here. Do I have more meat? I have that one. All right, we'll cook this up, eat a bunch of it, so we open up inventory space. We'll loot the town and see if this is where we want to build the steakhouse. Do we want to convert a building out here? Maybe. Maybe. I need a lock, too. All right, these two are ready. Venison steaks, drop them on the ground because the game is kind of funny like that. Got that heat buff going. Got to keep my eye on... See, Lucky was in here, dude. And, oh boy. And Lucky was out there. There was a dude in here. And, like, he was trying to, like, spy me like this. Oh, man, that was wild. Adrenaline pump. Pumping action there. Crazy, the fat finished first. I wonder if it's because it was smoking, if it retains its heat. I would have thought the other piece would have gone first. Drop them on the ground straight away. My smoking is done. Good, getting this done quick, nice. And we are just waiting on that last piece of fat and we are out of here. Yeah, doing well, healthy, got a lot of food now. Uh, we got a box of nails. Do we have a box of nails? I can't remember. Uh, we're gonna have to find nails. Okay, well, it'll be fun. Be fun to loot for everything. All right, let's go upstairs for a second while this cools it off. Gotta let the meat cool off, it's kind of crazy. Gotta stop picking up stuff I don't need until I got a place to dump my gear. Alright, let's see if this is good enough now. Can I get all these without my uh, temperature blowing up? Check the window. Alright, cool. Ah, dang it. Overheating. Alright, well, that's that might be the most annoying little rule in the game. Really, I have it in my backpack and it's causing me to overheat. You know me, I'm not a complainer, guys. But really, I don't know about that one. Okay. Well, that's life. Let's eat this while we wait. Oh, we have one more piece of fat there. We're just going to drop it. I'm not going to mess with it. Yeah, we're, we're turning a corner and getting out of here. I'm not setting back up and waiting for it to cool off again. Yes, let's loot about. See if we get lucky with nails. Otherwise, there is um, an area slightly north of here that will um, is likely to spawn nails. Okay. Now can I take this stuff? 70. If I have to drop it again, I'm going gonna, gonna to lose my mind. I got a heat buff going. Is it going to make me in the red? That's the question. Tomato, take it. Uh, where did I see that? I didn't take that water bottle, did I? Another sharpening stone. And another pickaxe. Dang. Uh, oh, I do have a water bottle, so I probably don't need that other one. I got a Pipsy. 
Yeah, we're good. We're good. Let's um, eat this tomato straight away. All right, well, let's loot about. See if we can find some nails, some more base building equipment. We'll eat as we go. Yeah. I think the sharpening... Does the sharpening stone sharpen the pickaxe, or is, it, is that non-refundable? Kind of like... Like, I know you can't fix the sledgehammer. I think you can fix the pickaxe, but maybe I should be fighting... More food, okay. Maybe I should be fighting with this splitting axe, because I know I can repair that. And I have so many sharpening stones. Which, that's huge for a base build. I don't know if I need a screwdriver for a base build. I don't think so. Yeah. Alright, let's eat. Stay full. Beautiful day out. Sometimes we find nails in like these guys right here. Let's check this. Bullhorn. If it was, if we had it built already, I would take it just to be an idiot and, and um, call out different sales that are going on on the bullhorn. That would be funny. But I don't want to carry it around now. More shotgun shells. Yeah, bad choice maybe to, I don't know. This is better for animals. I mean, better for players if you can hit them, man. Mosin take you out. Yeah. Um, actually, I think I'll go up this way. Sick. Yeah, maybe we convert a barn of some kind. I don't know, we're just going to be opportunistic and see what we see up here. It's not going to begin today because we don't have nails yet, but we could opt to build here near Zvir. All that rhymed, or I could keep heading north. I'm okay with either. We'll just see what happens when we find nails and stuff. We got a saw, we got sharpening stones. We'll probably have to go loot that lumber yard to the north. That'll probably be a next episode thing. That place is pretty dangerous too. That'll be exciting. <laughs> Gotta fix the, the axe here. Cool. Well, I hope I have a sharpening stone. Well, would you look at this? Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, right now, the main threat is obviously, like usual, other players. Badly damaged right there. I think I need duct tape or a sewing kit for that. I don't think this will work. Nope. Okay. Okay. Can I repair this again? No. Okay. Cool. Uh, let's drink the Pepsi. Keep our hydration up. Keep the inventory open. And it's just delicious. Yeah, sewing kit would be good. Duct tape would be good. Vitamins are always good. Nails would be king right now. Nails, wire, we need wire, pliers. So yeah, we still got a ways to go, but we're, we're in an area now where we can really start looking. The first phase of her life was really just survive, get off the coast, get situated, and now we've done that. So now we can really start bearing down and um, looting the things we need to get this restaurant up and running. Dude, can't pass that up. Can of Sketty. Can of Sketty, Bob. Yeah, I'm going to pass that. Yeah, we'll eat another steak in a minute. I know you guys have really coached me up about 
not keeping food in my inventory, but the inventory for food is called a belly. Eat it. That's been really helpful. Yeah, I love the sledgehammer pickaxe, though. Suits what we're doing better. Dude, this is... It's day Z on a nice day. is so nice, right? And especially when you're off the coast and you're up in this beautiful part of the map. It's amazing. You know, maybe we go ahead up and loot... Uh, yeah. Good to have a battery. May have to take a quick peek at the... Uh, mistimed that by a crap load. Bleeding. Dude, this guy. This guy. Pristine rags, Bob. Alright, I'm gonna open up the map. Let's go, let's go take a gander at that... At that, uh, lumber yard. I don't think it's too far. I'm looking at the map. If you want to follow this, get the I Survive app. And now we're in Zvir all the way on the west. Let's see. Where? Oh, we got the camp. Okay. So let's follow the red trail. We'll at least go to the campgrounds. And we'll see. We may bypass the campgrounds. Yeah, this is what it's about. This is why I just skipped out. I don't want to do a lot of editing out of things in this series, but um, it was dark, man. It was just running, so I just cut it. It's all good. All right, red team, here we go. Yeah, if you're following Lucky, um, I think we got episode 40 coming up. Maybe put Lucky 40 in the comments. Let me know you're following Lucky series. If you're not, I ask you, why not, man? I mean, if you like DayZ, a dude trying to live the whole year it started on January 1. I mean, I would watch something like that. If you want PvP action, you need to, like, you know, watch those 17-year-olds jacked up on Pop-Tarts and Mountain Dew, which is fun, too. Don't get me wrong. But, um, I like to think we're a tad bit more sophisticated. Just a tad. Pop-Tarts are good. Mountain Dew is too far. Ooh. Ooh. What do we have here? Alright, well let's empty it. Look at this as we scan the kingdom with the glitch. Do I have a belt I can put it on? I don't know. That's a pretty good find. That's like a long-term... Do I have a belt? Need to get a belt. All right, well, let's just put it in our coat pocket for now. Maybe we find a coat here at the campgrounds. You know what? I'm sort of thinking we just keep pushing north. If anything, I build something up close to this lumber yard. Okay, follow this trail. Is it? Should be a lake. Alright, okay, we'll check this out over here. We got like the hunters, campgrounds. Oh crap. Oh, I thought that was a, an animal right there. It wasn't. Hunter pants. That's probably better than what we have. We have jumpsuit pants, that's why. All right, yeah, hunter pants. Way better. And you know what, we can disinfect these pristine rags. Let's do that. Do I have another stack? No. I, I should have done that. Well, they are disinfected, okay. Make sure I didn't leave anything. Now we're looking good. Okay. I think we go this way. I think it's this way. Should hotkey my compass real quick. And we are going
North is that way. So we're heading east. Good. I think we're going to see what, what I'm looking for right here. At least the, the campground area right here. Yeah, and then from there... It's a little bit of a run. Not a big run up to... Lumberyard. That's where we have the greatest possibility of finding what we're looking for. But you could find wire here. You could find nails here. That could happen. There's um, a military camp in between. I almost don't know if I need to loot that. Like, I'm not here for that. It would be nice to have one rifle. I'm not going to take that. It would be nice to have one good rifle and be able to drop this or... I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't need a shotgun and this Mosin if I just had, like, one M16 or something. Is it worth it? We'll check over there. We'll check it out. Shot a pig once on this bridge a long time ago. It's become a core memory. I think Mel, Bob, and A Cup were there. It was chilling right here. Okay, this door is open. That's a bit peculiar. All these doors are open. No dead zombies, but no alive ones either. Kind of betting we find duct tape around here. I would actually be relieved to hear a zombie. Okay. Yeah, and I think as soon as we find a well, I dump the water bottle. I, I get rid of it and just go with the canteen. We gotta be really efficient with our inventory until we hunker down at the restaurant. So I gotta carry base building materials as well as food and stuff. Baseball bat, that's a good weapon. Another compass, but we don't need it. Okay. All right, we'll go back around the other side of the bridge, I think. Cool. Would have been cool if they made this openable. That bunker, that would have been sweet. Like, let you just put a lock on it. How about that? Like, whoever gets there first, just put a lock on it. And I don't know how you'd take it over. I think the only way to take it over would be camp it and wait for someone to open it. Like, the, w the only place in the game, that bunker right there, that would be pretty crazy. Like, whoever gets there first just puts a lock on it. And the only way to take it over is to like camp here with a sniper rifle and, and hit them when they go in or out, like when they're opening it. I don't know, what would you think of that? Too far? I don't know. I think I'm going to eat a little bit just to free up the inventory because we're going into an area where I'm going to want to grab some things. Uh, let's see if we can get this fat eaten. Kind of looking to see what else I can drop. Hesitating to drop those bones just because I can make fish hooks and blades, but I probably don't need them. Now, what do you think of that? The bones worth keeping at this point? They're just so versatile, man. Like, if you get in a jam, I can make a fishing hook. Alright. Gonna be a lot of zombies here. If there's not. Oh, duct tape. Okay, do I do the thing? I don't know if I get that cute, where I take this in my hands and then like put some stuff in it. I think I do. Okay, come on now. There we go. Put some stuff in it. So that I obviously have more space to grab stuff. This is Mr. Rax at his finest right here. Okay. Put the aforementioned bones. All right, let's try this. I've never played this way before. Let's see what happens. The Skeddy is not urgent. Uh, canned tuna is not urgent. Um, Battery is not urgent, but it's not worth the time to flip it over for one spot. Canteen is actually not urgent. 
All right. Well, um, if I just hold X, does it drop? It does. Okay, so that's why you guys are saying you just hold X. Okay. Actually, can I fix this bag up? It's pretty crappy. Where'd the tape go? Where'd the tape go? I wanted to fix it, but I should do this another time. Oh, there it is. Combine, repair. All right, well, I think this is what I'm gonna do because I'm trying to loot up, man. I'm gonna carry this bag around, looking like racks. All right, cool. All right, let's go. And we will put it We'll drop it right over here by this big tree between the two trees. Between two ferns. Anyone? <laughs> Anyone? <laughs> between two ferns. So stupid. You don't know what I'm talking about. Your life is a little bit better off for it. Is that a Mosin? I mean, dude, we have a Mosin. Might as well have a whatever on it. We'll get that later. Sweater. I'm down to four rags. Maybe I should get more rags. Got one zombie over there. It is kind of a weird... We're in sort of a weird uh, place. Another Mosin. My pants pristine. Worn are these pristine? Worn, okay. Uh, let's get it just because we could use the rags. Gotta keep that full until we have some bandages and such. Okay. Organize it later. Tempted to hit that guy with the 22. Hunter backpack. I like what I, what I got now. It just holds so much. Don't want the gun. Some of my worst shooting ever. Dang it, ruining my crap. Okay, well, that went poorly. Handgun scope, no. Tourist map, no. Firefighter pants, no. Does that mean someone else has just been here and changed out their pants? Sort of getting the creeps. Sort of getting the creeps. I don't know that I need to be here. And maybe a scope for the Mosin. Maybe some ammo for the Mosin. Those are good reasons. Okay, well, we are already here. We've looted half of it. We might as well loot the other half on the way back. And I haven't seen any dead zombies yet. Mosin ammo would be wonderful right now. Guess I could go hunter's jacket, right? This one's pretty crappy. Yeah. We're on the brown team now. Okay, no ammo. I think I got this guy angry. I mean, it might have been worth it. We got a couple more. I'm gonna skip the big building. Just for the jacket, though. The hunter's jacket is pretty legit. And I was still wearing a pea coat. 
That was pretty messed up, badly damaged. So this, that's a good find. Okay. All right, nothing groundbreaking, but that's freaking Daisy, right? That's how the game is. Let's get our bag between two ferns. And get out of here. Alright, and once we are out of here, in the clear... That'll be the end of the episode, guys. And uh, Daisy, assuming the next 30 seconds go well, she will have survived again. Sun is setting. I'm very observant. Let's find a nice place by the river. I can't believe I'm running around with a backpack. Yep, so she's gonna have to sleep outside here tonight. But we are making our way. Next episode we have a military camp and a lumber yard. And once we find uh, wire, pliers, nails, got a hatchet, we got axe, we got pickaxe. Then we start the real search for the location of Daisy Crockett's Apocalypse Steakhouse. All right, well, let me know in the comments what you think. Uh, good decisions, bad decisions. I made a lot of decisions here today, dropped a lot of stuff. I'm running around with a bag now. I think that'll allow us to, uh, to get everything we need, though. And then once we settle in, We'll build some stone ovens for cooking, for storage. We'll build some boxes. We'll, we'll convert a building of some kind to the steakhouse. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be so cool. Thanks for following this series, guys. Daisy in Daisy. And I think that's where we're going to call it. Let me just find a place. It'd be kind of scary to sleep out here in the night. Can I even lay down with a... Uh... Do I still have it in my hand? Maybe we, uh, we sleep sitting up, just to make sure I still have it. Nah, we're good. We're good. All right, good night, everybody. Looks like the next episode will be in a day or two, shooting for Thursday. And Daisy is going to keep gaming, building her ultimate goal of a steakhouse in the apocalypse. Thank you for letting me be a part of your day. Hopefully, I made it a little bit better. If you're enjoying this series, check out the playlists on my channel. There are a lot of other creative playthroughs for this game.